So speaking of those returns, here are what some major forecasting models are predicting for tomorrow night. Let's start with the one and the only primary model, which has the distinction of being the single most accurate presidential election model in history. It has predicted rightly 25 of the last 27 presidential elections. So that's going all the way back to 1912. It's the algorithm put together by the Stony Brook University professor Helmut Norpoff. And that makes the model unique in that it uses no opinion polls. Opinion polls are completely obsolete when it comes to the predictions of the primary model. Instead, the primary model uses data from the primaries, which date back to 1912. That's the first time a presidential candidate had to win the primaries in order to run for the general election. And in each case, the statistical algorithm of the primary model discovered that the candidate who was stronger in the primaries, the candidate who won the highest percentage of votes in the primaries, always went on to win the general election. Indeed, when so many were predicting a Romney landslide in the 2012 election, Norpolth had predicted since January of that year, several months before the election, that Obama would win by several percentage points. Same with 2016. The primary model gave President Trump an 87% chance of beating Hillary Clinton in that general election. And those results, if I recall, were published in March of 2016, so very, very early on. So in this sense, the primaries function very much like the general election in microcosm. The winner with the highest percentage of the vote in the primaries always goes on to win the general election. So what that means then is Norpulse model is the only one that has for more than 100 years selected the winner of virtually all presidential campaigns, I believe 25 of the last 27 elections. And I'm excited to announce that Norpulse model gives President Trump a 91% chance of winning re-election. And the model is actually predicting a win with over 360 electoral votes, which would be an absolute blowout. Now, of course, again, this is all predicated that we go out to vote. So make sure you do that tomorrow. But having said that, no incumbent has ever lost the general election after receiving 75% or more of the votes from their party in the primaries. And President Trump got 94% of the vote. Biden barely got 50 of the vote. So here we have actual voting data, actual votes, actual elections, actual winners, not opinion polls. And the results could not possibly be more discrepant from the opinion polls that are being peddled by the mainstream Marxist media. So that's our first forecast. Not a bad one to start off with, 